guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new then welcome and if you're a returning subscriber then <laughs> here you are. if you don't already know my name is Tapila I am going into my second year of medical engineering at the University of Swansea and today I'm basically making the video that I wish I had before I chose biomedical engineering which I'll also be referring to the end and just to get it out of the way I may be using biomedical engineering and medical engineering interchangeably and that's simply because they are basically the same thing. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful to someone in any way, shape, or form, and let's get to it. So first things first, let's start with what exactly is biomedical engineering. So I'm going to give you the Merriam-Webster definition. Application of engineering practices and technologies to the field of medicine and biology, especially in solving problems and improving care. Now, that might have sounded like a bunch of jargon, and I'm just going to try and simplify it or break it down and give you my version or like my definition of what biomedical engineering is. My definition of biomedical engineering is essentially when you take engineering principles like mechanics or electronic engineering, chemical engineering, and combine that with knowledge of human anatomy and physiology, put those two things together and use that to solve medical problems. Anything to do with medical technology, biomedical engineers are there. And some of the most common inventions include the ECG machine, which essentially detects heart abnormalities. I'm sure you're also familiar with the defibrillator. Clear. And there are a bunch of cool new things as well, like the camera pill, which is basically a pill that you swallow and the doctor is able to see down your digestive tract, particularly the small intestine, which is hard to get to using your typical endoscopy procedures. Another field of biomedical engineering is things like tissue engineering, creating whole tissues in a lab or creating an artificial heart. And an artificial heart just buys the patient time while they find a donor heart. You also have things like prosthetics, things like your e-legs, which allow people with paraplegia to regain certain functions, to be able to do things for themselves again. As a biomedical engineer, you could also be developing things that have already been in existence for a really long time. There's also a whole part of biomedical engineering that you don't necessarily see. For example, the coding and programming of medical devices, the maintaining of equipment, or improving that equipment. So in terms of education, typically you need an undergraduate degree in biomedical engineering and this takes about three to four years to complete and most university programs or college programs will provide you with some form of accreditation how do you say that word Accre accreditation oh my god also make sure to check some courses do offer a placement year in industry where you basically work and gain experience which is the program that i am on and i will be doing my placement year next academic year you can work straight off the graduating with an undergraduate degree you can also pursue further study like a master's degree or a phd next i'm going to be talking about job prospects and okay now i have the degree what am i going to do with it. And the answer is there are so many things you could do with it. The biomedical engineering field is booming with an estimated growth of about 5% in the next 10 years. And there are so many things you could pursue. You could just be a biomedical engineer. You could decide to specialize in clinical engineering if you want to be more involved with patients or in the hospital. You could be a product developer or a research fellow and be on the forefront of groundbreaking discoveries. Some people do go on to do medicine as a postgraduate degree, but if it's not an afterthought, there are definitely easier ways to get into medicine. You really don't have to do that. But in the UK, typically the areas biomedical engineers work in are split into three categories, being the NHS, the National Health Services, industry, and research. Now I'm going to be talking about salary. And your salary is dependent on two things, which part of the world you're working in and your experience. 
So, according to the website Jolted, in the UK, the starting salary is about £24,000, which equates to £33,250. The average salary is £31,500, which is US$43,700. On the high end is about £80,000, which is £110,900. US dollars. And in the US, according to pay scale, the starting salary is about $50,000, which is £36,000. And on average, you make about US dollars, which equates to £49,015. And on the high end, you have $98,000, which is about £70,000. 640 pounds which is a pretty good salary to me that's pretty good money two of my favorite biomedical engineer youtubers are crazy medusa and the adventures of Ra. they're already working and i believe they're based in america and they always have lots of advice and tips that i definitely found useful so i will link their channels down below now to talk about job satisfaction the question we're asking is are biomedical engineers happy with their job. Well, according to a survey conducted by Career Explorer, biomedical engineering got a 3.4 out of 5, which is pretty good. It actually places biomedical engineering in the top 40% of careers in terms of job satisfaction. So if you're thinking about doing it, it's not a completely bad idea. Now, the number one golden reason is obviously that it pays pretty well. Another reason that biomedical engineers are satisfied is the fact that they feel as though they are doing meaningful work. Work. like they're actually making a difference. The work environment can also be very flexible. Biomedical engineers can work anywhere. You could work in an office, in a workshop, in a lab, in a hospital, whatever tickles your fancy. So anyone can really find their place or where they fit in. So overall, biomedical engineers don't hate their lives. Well, actually that's not true. Not that they don't hate their lives, but their reason is less likely to be their job. Who doesn't want to wake up every day feeling like they're making a difference, guys? Who doesn't want that? Thank you so much for watching, guys. You've made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think biomedical engineering is an amazing field and an amazing career to pursue. But then again, I am biased. I hope I was able to bring some form of clarity to shed some light on what biomedical engineering is. And maybe you managed to see what I saw in it and you also fall in love with it. I hope you found it helpful. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Thank you.